Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share how to solve this trigonometric equation. Firstly, let's rewrite the equation. We have 4 sine x times sine 2 x times sine 4 x. And for the right hand side, I'm going to apply the triple anchor identity, which is 3 sine x minus 4 times sine q x. Although we have the common factor, which is sine x, do not simply divide and remove the term with unknown x. If you do so, the consequence is we might lose certain values. The correct method is bring everything to the left for sine x, sine 2x, sine 4x, positive move over to the left becomes negative. So we have minus 3 sine x, minus move over plus 4 sine cube x and this is equal to 0. Next is to factorize. So we take all sine x and we left 4 sine 2x sine 4x minus 3 plus 4 sine squared x and this is equal to 0. So from here we can see that we should have two set of solutions. Firstly sine x is equal to 0 or secondly we have 4 sine 2x sine 4x minus 3 plus 4 sine squared x is equal to 0. Based on the first equation, x is equal to arc sine 0, which is equal to 0 degree, 180 degree, or 360 degree. Now let's solve for the second equation. For the second equation, we can apply the product sum identity for this term, which means that we should have 1 over 2 times cos big angle minus small angle. So we have 2x and we minus cos the sum of the two angles, 6x. And this is equal to 2 cos 2x minus 2 cos 6x minus 3 plus 4 sine squared x is equal to 0. Next, I'm going to apply the double angle identity for this term. So we have 2 times 1 minus 2 sine squared x minus 2 cos 6x minus 3 plus 4 sine 2x is equal to 0. From here, we can see that we have 2 times minus 2 sine squared x is minus 4 sine squared x and we have plus 4 sine squared x. So which means that we should eliminate each other. So we left 2 minus 3 is minus 1 and this term remains minus 2 cos 6x and the right hand side equal to 0 which means that cos 6x is equal to negative 1 over 2. In other words 6x is equal to arc cos negative 1 over 2. Recall that arc cos 1 over 2 is equal to 60 degree and we have all sine teacher crazy. To obtain negative ratio for cosine function, which means that we should have the anchor within the second and the third quadrant. So let's make a line on the second quadrant and draw the anchor 60 degree. We know that up to this point, we should have 180 degree. And now let's move backward. So 180 degree minus 60 degree is equal to 120 degree. Next, draw a line on the third quadrant. Also, we make a 60 degree. For this time, we should extend. So which means that we take 180 degree plus 60 degree which is 240 degree but then according to what we have here is 6x and the question is x if x is from 0 degree to 360 degree which means that 6x should range from 0 to 2160 degree to make it simple we know that for any trigonometric functions we should obtain exactly the same ratio for every 360 degree so which means that we just have to take the angle and we plus 360 degree so the next angle is 480 degree next again we take the angle and we plus 360 degree so which means that we have 600 degree at 360 again for the next anchor we have 840 degree at 360 again we have 960 degree we have two angles for each round this is first round within 360 degree this is second round within 720 degree and so on so which means that we need another three rounds keep adding 360 degree we should obtain 1200 degree for the next anchor and followed by 1320 degree 1560 degree 1680 degree 1920 degree and the last anger which is equal to 2040 degree now let's divide both sides by 6 and we should obtain x is equal to 20 degree 40 degree 80 degree 100 
degree, 140 degree, 160 degree, 200 degree, 220 degree, 260 degree, 280 degree, 320 degree, and 340 degree. Lastly, arrange all the angles in ascending order and we conclude that there are 15 angles that can satisfy the equation and hence we're done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.